guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel. Oh my god, I literally don't know how to do my intro anymore. Before I get into today's video, if you haven't watched one of our latest videos, well actually latest vlogs, and you missed our big, big announcement, we will be at VidCon! So excited guys, I haven't been to VidCon in over a year. I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to meet you guys, to just talk with you. I'm super, super stoked for VidCon, super, super stoked to just be part of this whole event. Today's video is a little different, it's not about VidCon, it's not a vlog. If you follow me on Twitter, and you should, at Sue Rose, you should definitely follow me. I tweet a lot about books. I love reading. I used to be that kind of nerdy person in school sitting in the corner reading because I was kind of a loner but that's a whole different story I love reading I love just diving into like stories and just being part of them you know I get lost in books I love 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 reading I got tons of amazing books from Amazon I just want to share with you guys all of these books because they're amazing I got them all from Amazon so I'll definitely leave a link for every single book down below in the description box right here also what's right there is the little bell next to our name next to the word subscribe because you should be subscribed to our channel so if you're not you should definitely fix that right now but you should also make sure to click the little bell right there because if you do that you will never ever miss a notification from us anymore you will be the first one to watch our video so you can be like yes I'm the first and how awesome is that so make sure to do that with no further ado let's just get right into the video before I show you guys all these books, there are tons of books that are slightly Christian. I would never try to force my beliefs on you guys. I will share those books with you guys and oh my god, do you hear that? Cops love my apartment complex. They're always there. I'm trying to film. Can you just catch them later? Wow. There are books that are Christian based, but the advice in there has nothing to do with Christianity. It's just amazing advice. Let's start off with my favorite relationship slash marriage books. My top number one book from all marriage and like relationship advice books is His Needs, Her Needs. It is such a good book on marriage. It is a wonderful book on kind of giving you advice on how to understand your spouse. And it's not even just for people that are married, even people that are in a relationship. Nowadays, people give up so easily so quick on relationships as soon as they find a problem as soon as it gets tough they're like you know what I'm out I'm out don't do that they just help you to understand your spouse and like help you to understand your better half how to kind of you know make them happy it's the same with the five love languages books that I'm not gonna recommend on here because I'm not really a fan of it I did take the quiz and I do have a little perpetual calendar right there that is based on the five love languages books this one kind of talks about the needs of each person for example affection sexual fulfillment, time, companionship, and all these things are things that when I'm talking about them right now, you probably can relate to like a fact and you probably can relate to communication and you can say, hey, that's what I want in a relationship. I want someone to be there for me. I want someone that loves me and gives me affection. Then there's boys that are like, hey, sexual fulfillment is on the top of my list. This book will help you so much in your relationship, especially when you're married. I would totally recommend you reading that or even better, if you're about to get married, that is one of those top books. They are a must. Like, that's a must book. You guys have to read that. The next one that I want to talk about is Sacred Marriage. It's by Gary Thomas. I got so many books on relationships and marriage. I love reading and there's so much advice online, but you never know what kind of people put that up. And sometimes it's just stuff that doesn't really help. And I'm that kind of person. I don't prefer having a Kindle in my hand. I prefer having an actual book and flipping through the pages. And I just like the feeling of of having a book in my hand basically telling you about how your marriage is not just designed to make you a better person to make you happy with the partner that you have but it's also designed to deepen your relationship with God and I know that you guys don't want me to talk about this I know some people are strictly like weird when it comes to that because I was like that too I was like I don't get the whole like God hype so basically it says what if God designed marriage to make us holy more than to make us happy it talks about how you and your spouse together can deepen your relationship with God just by being married what do we crave most in our relationship or marriage love and respect this book basically breaks down to you what is most important for each spouse when it comes to a husband and two wives like me I'm a wife I crave love more than respect I do crave respect I do want to be respected I do want want to have my opinions and my just whatever I'm saying heard mostly I crave love but then on the other side my husband craves respect that book breaks it down to you and kind of tells you hey that's how it is and it will make you understand kind of like the his needs her needs book 
what his desires are, what my desires are. I would definitely recommend to read those books together with your spouse. I'm the person that loves reading. Josh is like, meh, I don't know really know about reading. So what I do for him is like I kind of put out audible audiobooks for him so he can just listen to him while he's working. You know, whatever works best for you guys, whatever works best for you, reading is really, really fun. I don't get why people don't like it. It's kind of like, I would say, like an addition to his needs, her needs. If you guys are getting married, if you guys are in a really, really serious relationship and are thinking about that, my top books on relationship to get would be his needs, her needs, and love and respect. Life is hard. You know how life just throws random obstacles in your way and you're like, why? So I found these two books. I was blown away when I started reading them. The first one that I want to talk about is Enemies of the Heart. It's basically talking about the four emotions that control us the most. Anger, guilt, greed, and jealousy. Most people struggle with them, even if you don't like admit it or don't want to admit it. I struggle with one of those and every single person does. It breaks down to you how to get rid of it, how to, first of all, identify what you have, if you have it, because all of us have that kind of little piece of it in there. I was blown away. That book will definitely change your life. It's really good. The next one that I want to talk about is Only Love Today. I love the cover. It's so colorful. Isn't it cute? Like the only love that they drew a little heart that's like so me, me AF. It's so adorable and it's just a super super nice book it's not a one of those books that you gotta read daily they broke it down into seasons so like summer winter fall so you go to the content list you go to spring for example it just gives you all of these little points pick whatever subject you want to hear about or read about read the little part and will definitely encourage you it's one of the things that you can always come to when you need advice this person went through the same stuff and it can definitely help you so that's one of the books that I would definitely have laying around just in case you feel down just in case you don't know what's going on you can pull this one out and be like hey there's this advice that I was searching for. So if you're completely against Christianity and God and all this, you can skip the next minute. I'm not afraid to show people that I believe in God and that I want to share the love that he has for us. I want to share my faith. I want to share my beliefs. I would never force it on anyone. So if you don't want to hear about it, skip the next minute. I wanted to kind of show you guys two books that have really blessed me. The first one and my top favorite of like Christian books for wives like me is The Praying Wife. When I picked that book up, it was kind of like, I don't know if that's gonna be fun to read. It seemed like a long like journal on what to do better as a wife and I was like, hey, like I'm already doing so much. This book blessed me so much. As Christian people, we go to church every single Sunday. I even have a service on Mondays and we have School of Discipleship. I'm part of our church. I do their social media. So I'm really involved. I love, love, love our church. I love God. I love having him at the center of my marriage, at the center of everything in my life because it has blessed me so much and he always has my back and I know he always provides for me. This book just kind of opened up so many doors for me, not as in opening up opportunities, but opening up the ways to get there. It basically talks about how a wife has the power to change things by just praying, especially for her husband. She can change so many things by just praying for it. I kid you not, guys, I have seen results. I prayed for financial blessings and they came the next day. It just takes away this burden of like nagging, of complaining. It is such a powerful book. I want to bless you guys with this book because you should definitely get it, you should definitely read it. Just like do it. It's amazing. Coming down to one of Josh's and I's favorites. It's called the Love There. It's a yearly daily devotional. So we have 365 days in here. What Josh and I do every single day, we read our little devotional. It has changed so much. I'm 22. He's turning 24 next month. We're young and we don't know everything. We don't know everything about marriage. It helps us to kind of like reflect on what we're doing, how we're treating each other. It's a really, really, really perfect book for couples. Really, really, really amazing. I totally recommend you guys get it. I told you guys how much I love devotionals and Josh definitely knows how much I do because I do read them every single morning and night. I have one book that I absolutely love and it's called Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. It is a daily devotional. You read it in the morning and in the evening. And what I also got is the mini version of it. Jesus Calling mini version. I got that one for Josh because he might be traveling soon and even if he's out of town or at work, I want to be able to give him like a little book that kind of reminds him of what we do daily together. So that was the book haul. I hope you guys liked it. I'm so sad that I was able to film this. I was so looking forward to do this and I love books. If you guys like this book haul, make sure to comment down below if you did and if you want me to do more, if you want me to do specific kind of books or clothing hauls or another look books, comment down below your wishes for me. Josh
Josh and I are planning a lot on vlogs. We want to do travel vlogs. We want to go to Disneyland. We heard you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for supporting us. I'm so, 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 so happy to see you guys at VidCon. This is such an amazing month. We will actually be at the full screen booth on the 22nd of June. So you guys better meet us there. This was the video for you guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, leave a comment down below and give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I love you guys so much. Bye!